This breed has a very young approach to life. You know, they make us laugh. This is Red. He's a three-year-old wire-haired pointing Griffon. The reason we chose this breed is because we wanted, you know, an energetic outdoor dog. But more than anything, they kind of put family before anything else. He's a very good dog. He's very well behaved. He's playful. He loves kids. We love him. The first week, he learned how to open the door on his own. So even when we didn't want him in the house, he was in the house. And that's Red. He gets into everything. We used to have to just put him somewhere, lock a door, you know, put him away. Now we give him treats sometimes, but he goes through the treats pretty quickly. We started giving him bully yeah. sticks and they last yeah. a lot longer. The problem with the bully sticks is he can go wherever he wants to, and we kind of don't want that sometimes. Just the idea of imagining a bone, you know, with meat still around, being dragged to the floor in my house, and then I have to clean it. I really didn't like that. When we give him bully sticks, we started to use the Barker Fun treat holder. So now what we're able to do is we can give him the bully stick in the house using the treat clincher, because we can lock it down in a place and know he's going to stay right there. So if it is going to make a mess, it's going to be isolated to that area. I really thought it was great because you avoid all that mess. You have in a specific spot that you want, and then you know that if it's going to be any drooling, it's just going to be in a specific space, you're going to be able to clean it. I really like that about the clincher. Wherever we are is where he wants to be. So the treat clincher allows us to let him be in the house having a treat with us as opposed to just being outside. We wouldn't let him have a bully stick in the house without the treat clincher. It just wouldn't happen.